Hello, my name is Liesel. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create a 3D pop-out effect in Canva. And don't worry, no design skills are needed. This is a super simple trick that can instantly upgrade your visuals, especially if you have an online shop or small business. Want to bring one of your product images to life and make it feel like it's literally jumping off the screen? This effect is perfect for showcasing items on social media, product pages, or even in your marketing emails to grab attention fast. Let's dive in and make your designs pop. First step is to create the canvas and the desired size. Go to the left to Elements and search Mobile Phone Frame. You can also do a desktop frame or an iPad frame, whatever you would like. Then go down to Frames and make sure that you choose a frame and not a graphic. Okay, because we are going to insert a picture there. So I'm just going to use this first one. So click that over and you can enlarge it a little bit. The next step is to choose an image. Okay, so I will go to elements and recently use because I've searched quite a few images before. So what's important is that you have an image where it can hang over a little bit to the left or the right or even a bit at the bottom okay so let's try it with this cup of coffee so click the image over onto your canvas duplicate it and the duplication just move it a little bit down now you will see as soon as you put it over this frame it's going to go into the frame okay but you can see that in this way it won't really hang out so that's not going to work for us so Right click, detach the image, then bring the slider in, say to, to wherever you want it to end on this frame here on the right hand side. Okay, so I've brought this, I brought the slider in. Now put your image in. Okay, so that's much better. Let's just move this to the left. Okay, now it's time to bring in this image. And this will be a little bit tricky. You can just play with it and see. Okay, so I want this image and, he, and the image on the left and right to be the same size. So that's going to be approximately right. And then click onto background remover to remove the background. If you are not on Canva Pro, you can download this image and then clean the background out with a tool like remove.bg something like that and then just upload it again so, so that you've got a see-through background because now you can see you will need that to create this effect okay now another trick is that in canva as soon as you're trying to put this image here it will go into the frame so just put it as close as possible leave your mouse and then use one of your cursors to bring the image closer okay so that it doesn't go into the frame Okay, and here we can see there at the bottom is a little bit of a discrepancy. So now I can just make it a little bit smaller. And let's make sure that we've got the two images exactly onto each other so that you don't see a line. Let's quickly do another example. I'm going to duplicate this page. I will delete that off, click onto the frame, go to detach image and delete that. And let's choose another one. Okay, so... Here we've got this beautiful girl. We will duplicate the image, put the one to the side, then cut off a little bit of the left hand side of her body. There we go, because we want the cupcake to stick out and insert it. Okay, let's remove the background. Make sure that she's the same size. And now I'm going to use my cursor again to bring her into the frame. Okay, so now you can see her shoulder and the hand and the cupcake is sticking out beautifully, but this bit at the bottom doesn't look very nice. Okay, so what you can do in a case like this is you just take the slider at the bottom and you can just slide it up. Okay, and now 
increase your picture to make sure that you line up everything nicely. So you can see with the little dots, it's, it's not perfect. So let's just fix that. Let's just find the right. sequence and that looks pretty good let's have a look here closer uh huh wait this needs to be a little bit bigger you can see that there are two shoulder lines so let's just increase the image slightly here there are so many ways to use this trick i hope you will enjoy it as much as i do I hope you found this useful. I hope you learned something new today. And if you've got any questions, please leave a message down in the comments. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.